Here are the stories making news at this hour. I'm Suzanne Lemigno. One of the firms at the center of the bridge that collapsed in Florida is also making news in our area. Mike Puccinelli has that story. Well, this is video of the construction site for that $140 million project. When it's done, it will stretch for more than a mile over the Indiana Harbor and Ship Canal. The raised 100-foot high bridge will essentially follow the path of the old Klein Avenue Bridge. Now, CBS2 has learned that the FIG Bridge Engineering Group that is working on the Florida bridge that collapsed yesterday, killing six, is also helping to build the Klein Avenue Bridge replacement here in East Chicago. We reached out to FIG East Chicago and INDOT officials about the Klein Avenue project and got no response. But FIG did release a statement about what happened in Florida, saying in part, in our 40-year history, nothing like this has ever happened before. Our entire team mourns the loss of life and injuries associated with this devastating tragedy, end quote. A food delivery driver is shot during a robbery in the Washington Park neighborhood. Police say the victim was at an apartment near 54th and Indiana when several men approached him and tried to rob him. They got into a struggle and the driver was shot. The victim was taken to Stroger Hospital in critical condition. And finally, meteorologist Megan Glaros has your forecast. Hi there, everybody. I'm meteorologist Megan Glaros, and it's Friday. We have got a winter weather advisory that pops into effect at 11 p.m. tonight. We'll go with us through 8 a.m. Saturday morning. Now, here's the deal. Rest of the day today is just fine, but by the overnight time period, we start to see some rain, some sleet, some snow, some freezing rain, and that could make roadways a bit slick at times. Minor accumulations from this, but could have a bit of an impact on the roadways, especially bridges and overpasses. So your St. Patrick's Day forecast for the river dying at about 9 o'clock. That's when it happens. 33 degrees will be the temperature. The wintry mix by then really should be wrapping up, but you may still want to have a little bit of kind of a raincoat or something or an umbrella. Maybe you could potentially need it. St. Patrick's Day Parade, 40 degrees for the temperature at that point. That's at noon tomorrow. We're looking at a cloudy and damp feel, but most of the precip should be gone by then. Looking at the seven day planner, the best day of the weekend by far appears to be Sunday. We'll be in the low to mid 50s with sunshine. But you know, I guess tomorrow's weather, not all that dissimilar from Ireland, where it'll be in the 30s and snow in Dublin on St. Patrick's Day. Have a good one, guys.